Protests around the country after a New York grand jury decides not to indict a police officer in the death of a Staten Island man. From New York to Seattle, demonstrators took to the streets protesting the grand jury's decision. Officers arrested several dozen in New York. Eric Garner died in July after a confrontation with a police officer. A cell phone video seen here captured the arrest. Garner's mother spoke last night. I don't know what video they were looking at. <laughs> Evidently, it wasn't the same one that the rest of the world was looking at. And with the investigation on Staten Island finished, federal investigators are now stepping in. I'm here to announce that the Justice Department will proceed with a federal civil rights investigation into Mr. Garner's death. The NYPD is also conducting its own investigation into whether the officer Daniel Pantaleo will face other charges. A woman under arrest now in Abu Dhabi in yesterday's gruesome killing of an American in a mall. The victim, 37-year-old teacher Ibola Ryan, was stabbed to death in the bathroom. The attacker is also suspected of planting a bomb outside an American doctor's home, also in Abu Dhabi. Meanwhile, a new video is being released of an American kidnapped by al-Qaeda in Yemen last year. He's identified as 33-year-old photojournalist Luke Summers. In the video, he says he's certain his life is in danger. Reports of sexual assaults in the U.S. military are up 10 percent, but officials say this appears to be the result of victims feeling more confident about reporting the attacks. If out of the formal release of figures, reports say nearly 6,000 sexual assaults were reported in the fiscal year that ended on September 30th. And as promised, the House is putting the president's plan to shield illegal immigrants from deportation to a vote today. The bill declares the president's executive orders null and void, but supporters admit it's largely symbolic, but it does set the stage for the showdown late next week over funding for the government, which runs out after the 11th. Southern California definitely needs a rain, but not quite this much this fast. People living in nearly 100 homes north of L.A. were evacuated with gushing mud, when gushing mud and water started rolling down the hills. And while all the rain is definitely helping, experts say it's just a drop in the bucket against a drought that's been gripping the area for years. I'm Miranda Connett with your very latest Newsmax Now update. We'll have more coming your way in just a short bit.